Hi, I'm Jeremy with Got You Alive Worry-Free Shower Device. Today, we're going to go over the installation of the device. The important thing to remember about installing the device is it's only as safe as the installation. So if you're all unsure after this demonstration about how to install the Got You Alive Worry-Free Shower Device, please consult with a licensed contractor or a licensed professional to do the installation for you. Okay, step one in the installation demonstration. First, we're going to show you how to find the stud. Using the wall that's adjacent to the shower head, which is this wall right here, we're going to install it about six inches from an average height ceiling. We have to find the stud, and the easiest way to find the stud is to use a stud finder that you can find in any local hardware store, Home Depot, that kind of a store. You take the stud finder, put it up against the wall, wait for the green light to flash, move the stud finder slowly and evenly over the wall until you hear that beep. That's an indication that the stud is right there. I make a mark, just like that, indicating where my stud is about six inches from the top of the ceiling. Okay, step two in our demonstration about how to install the Got You Alive worry-free shower device. We're going to mark the holes that we're going to drill. So once you've found your stud with the stud finder, we're now going to take the device, put it in our marked spot, and we're going to take a pencil and mark the spot where we're going to drill. Marking those holes right where we're going to drill. As you can see, we have the two holes marked, and it's ready for drill. Okay, the next step in installing the Got You Alive Worry-Free Shower Device is drilling the holes into our pre-marked spots that we found with the stud finder. First, you're going to take a 3 16 drill bit, like I have here, onto a drill, and you're going to drill two and a half inches deep into the wall, making sure that you find the stud. If you don't feel the resistance of the stud, that means your stud finder didn't work right or you didn't assess it correctly because it should feel some resistance and also you should look for some wooden stud dust and you can tell that you've hit that wood. It will feel empty if you haven't hit the wood and that's not a good thing. You want to make sure to get into the wood. Okay, now for the drilling. and I feel that resistance and I'm going all the way in. There we go. Yeah. Great. And I'm doing the other one now. Good. Good. That's great. I'm going to check this one one more time. Good. And I can see based on the dust that I've hit the actual stud. So, we're on for the next step. Okay, here we are, step four in our installation. We're going to take the three inch screw that comes with the Got You Alive device and the washer. I have a matching socket that I attach to my drill. And now we're going to screw the screw into the wall where we drilled the holes. So I'm putting it up into the wall. Take the matching socket and slowly drill into the hole, making sure that you're doing it straight. And I can feel the resistance of the stud, which is a good thing. There we go. Okay, in some cases your drill isn't strong enough to be able to tighten the screw all the way, so you can do the rest manually or adjust the resistance on your drill. I just adjusted the resistance on the drill and I'm going to continue drilling into the wall. There we go, we got a nice tight fit. I'm going to grab my other 3 inch screw with the washer and do the same thing in the other drilled out hole. Nice and slow and straight. There we go, I'm looking for the resistance. I feel the resistance knowing that I'm in the stud. Nice straight line. Good, nice and tight. Fantastic. 
Okay, we're ready for the next step. Now that we've successfully installed the wall brackets into the studs, it will be safe. We're going to test it out though by doing a simulated fall. I'm going to take the chest belt, click it in for safety, so that it straps on and do a simulated fall. The alarm is ringing, which tells other people that somebody has fallen. And I'm 6'2 and about 210 pounds, and it supported me without any problems, without any pain. With that, the installation is complete and is ready for usage. Got you alive. Don't live in a home without it.